Hey guys, it's Starlet Flippin' Hippo. Thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel at Flippin' Hippos and welcome into Back to Basics episode 11. Today we're going to talk about the ABCs of listing on Poshmark. Now most of us when we list on Poshmark we're actually cross posting in that we're taking an item we've already listed on eBay and cross posting it over to Poshmark. So the photographs, the description, the title, all of that has already been done on eBay and we're just taking that information and moving it over to Poshmark and that's called cross posting. Um, when you cross post, it is very, very, very important that you have some kind of system in place. You know your items on eBay are on Poshmark. So if you cross post an item, you need to have some kind of system, however you want to do it, that you know that that item is also on Poshmark and you need to know which items on Poshmark are also on eBay. The reason this is so important is because if it sells on one platform, you have to get it off of the other one. You don't want the same item to sell twice. Um, it does happen though. Mistakes happen. We've had it happen. I know a lot of people that have had it happen. You don't want it to happen, um, but it can because no one's perfect. But if you have a really good system in place of knowing which items are cross posted and what platforms they're on and you're vigilant about it and you stay on top of things and as soon as something sells you go take it down off the other platform um you will avoid having it happen a lot if it does happen you just have to cancel the order on poshmark and let the buyer on ebay um have the item so what we do, and you can use this way if you want, or you can find a system of your own. On um, eBay, if an item is cross-posted to Poshmark, in the title, I put like two little asterisks. And that way, if it sells on eBay and I see the little asterisks, I know to go get it off of Poshmark. The reason I put the asterisks in the title and I don't use the SKU line is because the SKU line doesn't always show up on the app. So if I'm outsourcing or I'm out at the movies or I'm out to dinner and something sells on eBay and it said in the SKU line that it was listed on Poshmark, that's not always readily available on the app. It's not easy to see or find as it is on the computer. But your titles always show up. So that's what we do. If something with the asterisk sells on eBay, we know to go over to Posh and take it down. And then as far as uh, the items on Posh, we know every single thing that is on Poshmark, we've already listed on eBay. So if it sells over there, we know to take it down. So I wanted to just mention that real quick before we get into the actual cross posting or listing on Poshmark. If this is something that you're gonna do, something that you're considering cross posting on multiple flat platforms, you need to have a system in place to know which items are where so you can be vigilant and remove them from the other platforms when it sells on one place. Um, the best way to cross post, I think, is on the computer. Some people like their phone and that's fine. The reason I like to do it on the computer is because I use the snip tool to get my photos. I have done a video on this where I shared the screen and showed you guys how I grabbed those photos and get them into a nice square for Poshmark and I will link that down in the description box below if you haven't seen it yet or you would like to. The photos for Poshmark have to be square. If you just save your photos from eBay to your computer and then upload them over to Poshmark, they they don't look right. Poshmark will make it into a square but it cuts off like half of your item. Like if you had a pair of jeans, it would cut off most of it and it would bring them forward and they look bigger. I don't know how else to explain it, but it does make your photo a square and it cuts off part of your photo and nothing looks right. So you have to get that square perfect before you upload it to Poshmark. And the snip tool is a really easy, fast way to do that. That is the number one reason I like cross posting on the computer versus the phone. I can use that snip tool. I can save the photos right to a folder I already have created on my desktop called photos for cross posting. And then I can just grab those and upload them on Posh. Additionally, um, you can have two tabs open or two windows side by side and you can just be swiftly moving over the text very quickly. Um, it's a lot faster than trying to go back and forth on the phone. And then the other reason is because I like to revise the item on eBay so that I could put those little asterisks in the title. Um, and then I just copy paste the description over, which is quicker than on the phone because you can just control A on your keyboard and that will select all 
of the text and then you can control V on your keyboard to paste it in or you can use your mouse and right click and copy paste. Um, but I just think that doing it on the computer is so quick. You can have two tabs, you're just copy pasting, you're snip using your snip tool and you're going really quick and you go back and forth. Or like I said, you can have two windows open at the same time. Um, I just think it's really super easy and then I could push revise and put those little asterisks in. And additionally, I kind of feel like by hitting the revise and um, pushing the end button or the finished button, whatever, on an eBay listing, I think that kind of gives the item a little bit of a boost on eBay as well. There are people who say that if you go in on eBay on your items and you're tweaking the titles or you're editing the listing in any way, it will count as activity. An active store is a happy store and it will kind of push that item up in the search algorithm for a little bit after being edited. So you're kind of killing two birds with one stone. You're now moving this item over to Poshmark, which gives it um, a better chance of selling because now it's in front of more eyeballs, but you're also revising it on eBay and pushing it up in the search there. A lot of times, something that I've just moved on pot over to Poshmark or cross posted will sell within like a couple of hours on eBay could just be coincidence, but it happens a lot. It happens a lot more than I think it would happen if it was just coincidence. So um, I really feel like touching the listing like that um, helps it to sell on eBay as well. Um, so you want to get those perfect square photos and you want to copy paste your information over from eBay. The titles on Poshmark are a lot different than the titles on eBay. They give you a lot of less characters it has to be a lot shorter um so you want to keep them short and sweet there's no real formula for titles on poshmark the way there is on ebay um i just would suggest being really short really sweet to the point because you don't get a lot of room and the wonderful thing about poshmark when people search for keywords or um particular words or brands or styles their search system actually looks through the description as well as the title. eBay doesn't. So when an eBay buyer is searching for something, only those keywords or whatever that are in your title are going to push your item in front of that person if they're looking for a keyword that you had in your title. But on Poshmark, their search looks at your description. So you can just put in your title, for instance, uh, Women's, so you don't even have to put women's. I don't think I even put women's. I think I just put like silver Francis bootcut jeans and I keep it that simple because on Poshmark, directly below the photograph of your item in the closet, it will show the size and some other information for them. Um, and again, you can put tons of information in the description box and just keep your title real short like that. Um, what I actually do is I put the real short title and then I copy over my description from eBay into the box and then at the very bottom of that I put my eBay title in the very very bottom because my eBay title follows that formula on eBay it has tons of good keywords in it and lots of descriptive words to help my item be searched for on eBay so if I put that title in the posh description it helps me just the same um, and I do know some folks, when they're listing on eBay, they'll put all their information in the description that they normally would, and then they'll put the title of the item, um, they'll copy paste that right into eBay at the bottom of their description. So when they're cross posting to Poshmark, they're copy pasting the description over from this box to this description box, and that's it. You're just grabbing one thing one time, you don't have to grab the title too. Um, but I do recommend putting your title in on Poshmark. You can put it at the bottom and kind of bury it so it doesn't like seem too weird um, to anyone looking at your item. But that gets all those really good keywords in there without having to have a long title. Um, you want to make sure you're pricing a little bit higher. So if you are starting from scratch on Poshmark, you can comp just the way you would on eBay. Just search for your item and look through the ones that come up and see what other people are pricing them at. Um, you can look through the solds, you can look through the listed. I personally don't comp anything that goes to Poshmark. I just raise my price from eBay up about 10%, sometimes 20%. Um, and that's okay, because number one, people on Poshmark are willing to pay more money. And number two, people on Poshmark like to get those offers to likers it's 
it's expected. So they're going to like your items and they're going to expect you to send them an offer or they're going to send you an offer. So to allow yourself wiggle room for those offers, just list a little bit higher on Poshmark. And keep in mind that they also pay shipping over there. It's like $6.89 for up to five pounds. And when you do the offers, you can offer free shipping or $1.89 off. You have to offer some sort of discount for shipping, but you can just do $1.89 and give them a flat $5 shipping or free. And so if you build your price up over there, those are all things you can offer them to entice them to buy your item. When you're listing on Poshmark, you're going to see that they have two categories. You guys have probably seen this. You'll pick that you have women's jeans and then they'll want you to pick if they're boot cut, flare, skinny, straight leg. You'll pick that you have a purse and then you have to, the secondary category would be shoulder bag, crossbody, um, doctor's toe, whatever, you know. And it's just like that with anything. You pick your first category, it's very basic. It's men's, women's, kids and then basically what it is, and your secondary category gives a little more detail. That secondary category is super, super important on Poshmark. You want to make sure that you are filling that out for all of your items, um, because if you just list your item as women's jeans, people looking for bootcut and flare or whatever yours are, yours isn't gonna come up because you didn't list it in that secondary category. So just make sure that you're filling both out. Listing on Poshmark is super simple. There's a lot less information than there is on eBay, a lot less boxes to check and things to click and things to do. You really just gotta copy paste that description in and you pick your two categories and you pick your size. It'll ask you if the tags are attached. If the answer is yes, then it will ask you if you want it in your boutique. You should always say no to that because the only things you should be listing in your boutique are things that you buy wholesale, um, not thrifted new with tags. And then it asks you for the brand and the price. And it will ask you for original price and listing price, you guys. That's a lot. Um, that's something that is really confusing to a lot of people. That's what I'm trying to say. It's confusing to a lot of people, especially when they're new to Posh. Um, if you know what the item cost originally, you can put that price in there and then what you're asking for it. If it's new, you can just take the MSRP off of the, the tag on the clothes and put that in there as the original price. If you don't know if it's used and you have no idea what it was originally, you can put zero and that is 100% okay to do. A lot of folks do that on Posh. If you don't know the price, um, probably shouldn't really be making one up so just put zero that's acceptable a lot of folks do it but if it's something that you're familiar with um and you know what they go for new you can put that price in there that's fine um but you have to put something so if you don't know put a zero um and it asks you for like the color above that but that's pretty much it there's like hardly any information to fill out um, so just make sure that the little bit that they do have on there that you're filling it out to the fullest. Um, make sure that you are checking for typos just like you would on eBay. You want to make sure that everything's good to go and you don't have any mistyping, mis words misspelled or mistyped. Um, I did want to add real quick, when you go to end an item on Poshmark if it's sold on eBay, um, your choices are to delete it or you can just mark it not for sale and it will still show up in your closet, but it will say not for sale. And then you wouldn't share that item the next time you go through and share and it would drop down to the bottom where it wouldn't be seen. Um, a lot of people just like to straight up delete it. It's sold on eBay, it's gone, whatever. Personally, I like to mark it as not for sale for a couple of reasons. Number one, um, a lot of buyers on eBay like to use eBay as a layaway system and your item can sit in the unpaid for a while and then they may not buy it. So if you deleted it off of Poshmark, you're gonna have to re-cross post it versus just going in, editing it and marking it back for sale. So 
I usually mark them not for sale and let them sit around for like a month before I'll delete them just because I want to make sure that the eBay buyer number one pays for it number two doesn't return it um, and number three keeps it or whatever so that way you know a month from now they are past their return time on eBay then I can delete it off of Poshmark but if for any reason they didn't pay for it or they did return it it's a simple edit and marking it back for sale instead of having to redo the listing all over again. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Poshmark is super, super simple. You wanna be listing five a day um, to stay active um, on Poshmark. Most people say eBay, a good number is like 10 a day to keep Cassini happy and keep their search algorithm happy and your store active. A good number for Poshmark is five. So you want to list like five things a day or cross post five things a day. Um, and I really would tell people you won't see regular sales until you have about four to 500 items in your Posh closet. But even then you won't see regular sales if you're not active. So you have to be listing every day. You have to be sharing every day. Just like eBay, you have to be active every single day. Poshmark is very time intensive. It takes a lot of work. So it's not for everyone. And I do know folks that just list stuff over there and, you know, set it and forget it. They don't share. They don't um, stay active on the platform. And they still make a couple sales every month. So, I mean, you can do that too. It's just uh, I, I put more work into it because I want to make more than two sales a month. Um, and once you get into a rhythm and a routine with Poshmark, it's really not that hard. It's mostly just time intensive, but it isn't for everyone. So just keep that in mind if you're thinking about places to cross post. Poshmark is a very time intensive um, platform and you really have to give it a lot of attention. So um, that said, if you guys have any more questions or whatever, let me know down below. I'm just kind of eyeballing my notes here to make sure that I told you guys everything. No, there's one thing I didn't tell you. Um, if you have an offer out on an item on Poshmark, offers last for 24 hours before they expire, whether you sent the offer to the buyer or the buyer sent it to you, it has 24 hours. If it has an open offer on it, the system will not allow you to delete the listing or mark it as not sold. So what you have to do is go in and change the size. So you edit, change the size, and then um, push the button for next. Once it's been edited that different size, it will knock the offer out. For some reason, for whatever reason, changing the size um, gets rid of the offer, and then you can delete it, or you can go in and mark it not for sale. If you're gonna mark it not for sale and leave it in the closet, I would suggest changing the size back to what it really is, just in case you end up having to mark it for sale again if your eBay buyer didn't pay. Um, or returned it, you don't want to have it listed at the wrong size on Poshmark. But that is the workaround. If you change the size, it will um, cancel all orders on it, and then you can go ahead and delete it or mark it not for sale. All right, guys, so if you have any more questions or whatever, go ahead and leave it in the comments down below. Tomorrow, I will be coming out with the ABCs of sharing on Poshmark, so I'll probably answer a bunch of your questions in that video about sharing and um, how much you should be sharing and when and all of that um do me a favor smash the like button before you leave thumbs up always helps the channel if you haven't already and you'd like to please subscribe to our channel and help us feed a hungry hippo you can find us on instagram facebook and twitter we are at flipping hippos across all social media until next time you guys have a good night